Today, we'll learn about Christopher Columbus, the heroic explorer who discovered America and proved the Earth was round. Actually, Columbus was an incompetent buffoon who never even set foot in America. <laughs> hush, hush. We all know Columbus wasn't perfect. That's an understatement. The real story of Columbus is even worse and weirder than you think. All aboard the Magic Band! <laughs> First of all, Columbus couldn't have discovered that the Earth was round because in his time, it was already common knowledge. The globe's for sale. The perfectly ordinary globe's for sale. Oh, what? <laughs> then why did it take until 1492 for anyone to sail the ocean blue? Simple. Back then, they didn't know the Americas existed, so navigators thought there was no way a ship could make it all the way from Europe to Asia. So Columbus set sail because he was brave. Nope, he set sail because he was a doofus who was terrible at math. Instead of trusting the experts, Columbus believed the Earth was thousands of miles smaller than it actually was. Fools, all of them. My math says the Earth is teeny tiny and shaped like a pear, and at the top, it has a succulent nipple. He actually believed that? Yes, I actually believe this. I can sail from Europe to India in a matter of days. That's extremely wrong. It took years for Columbus to convince the king and queen his plan didn't suck. But competition in the spice trade was getting intense. So Ferdinand and Isabella were desperate to find a new way to get their fix. The earth is tiny and also a pair. Give me money, please. This money's an idiot. I don't care. Fine. Give this more on the bare minimum. 90 dumb men and three dumb sheep. If you die, who cares? Right. And that's when Columbus showed them all and became a hero. But you know what happens to mouthy students? They get extra credit? I turn them into iguanas. Say hi, Edward. Kill me. Now, children, that's the Nidia, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, the ships Columbus sailed to discover America. I'm really sorry, Ms. Dazzle, but Columbus never set foot in America. Of all the modern-day countries Columbus made it to, like Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic, none of them were in the United States. Uh, okay, fine. Then uh, Columbus discovered Haiti in the Dominican Republic. Sure he did. If you don't count the quarter million Taino people that live there already. Uh, occupied? Someone lives here? Right. I know this part. He thought he made it to India. Aha! This is India, and these people are Indians. I will be rich in spices and gold. <laughs> what a silly mistake. Yes, if by silly you mean brutal, and by a mistake you mean one of several. The Taino treated Columbus and his crew with the utmost hospitality. Hug? Oh, we need reinforcements! Columbus repaid their kindness by returning with 17 ships and 1,200 men so he could enslave the Taino and steal their gold. There was only one problem. They didn't have any. You, gold, now! Oh, I want to help, but what is gold? This infuriated Columbus, and soon he and his crew began to slaughter them. This is very inappropriate for me to see. Columbus's regime was so senselessly brutal that by 1542, the Taino population on the island had fallen to 200. <sighs> I, I can't believe it. I had no clue that Columbus was this cruel. But after this, he must have gone on to do great things. Hmm? Nope. This was literally all he did. He didn't discover America, and he didn't prove the Earth was round. He just bounced around the Caribbean, slaughtered a bunch of innocent people, and died thinking he had made it to India. Hashtag no regrets. Ugh. Holy crow. And why do we learn about this guy in school? Oh, great question. For centuries, Columbus was a historical footnote. But that changed in 1828, when Washington Irving, the author of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and other tall tales, wrote the first English-language biography of Columbus. Columbus was a murderous failure? That ain't gonna sell copies. Let's say he was a brave genius who proved the Earth was round and discovered America. Seems believable. And Irving's myth caught on big time when some new Americans were searching for a hero. Throughout the 19th century, a surge of Italians immigrated to America, where they were persecuted and treated like they didn't belong. 
Ah, this is New York City. We hate pizza, and we'll always hate pizza. To help prove Italians were a part of the American story, Italian Americans latched on to Irving's version of Columbus and promoted it like crazy. Hey, we know a guy that knows a guy that discovered America, and he's Italian. I guess Italians are great. This guy deserves his own holiday. And that's the true story of how an incompetent and vicious nobody became the national hero we celebrate today.